So this is my review for uh, Chappie, the new Rolling Emmerich movie that just came out. Uh, he's the director of District 9 and Elysium. I uh, had high hopes for Chappie going into it. thought trailers looked pretty cool. Concept is kind of like RoboCop in reverse. You know, instead of a human police force being replaced by robots, and the kind of the cop becomes a robot and whatever, it's reversed, it's robots becoming human. Uh, the movie had a couple pros to it, just like, you know, District 9 Elysium, technology and it's great, super cool with the futuristic stuff. Uh, you know, one of the highlights of the movie is Chappie himself, you know, the main character. You really kind of feel the emotions of the robot as you're watching it and you kind of grow with Chappie and you really understand that he's a product of his environment and that, you know, just kind of the way he looks like really affects kind of how people treat him, but it's not his fault. He's just born that way. Uh, another highlight of the movie is Hugh Jackman. Uh, so awesome. He has a mullet. Uh, he walks around and he's like really short cargo shorts and polo, just like a like one of those, just like a spoof of a nun, a, a gun freak weirdo. Just, you know, has to prove himself, ex-military, whatever. You know, just never gets over stuff. Uh, and then he builds this giant robot that's supposed to be, you know, the police force instead of Chappie. The robot's called the Moose. This thing is way oversized, way overkill. It flies. It's like 20 foot freak tall, like takes tank fire and is a tank. It has like two legs. It's like kind of like a, like a walking, like a, one of those walking tanks from like Star Wars or whatever. Completely ridiculous. Shoots rockets, but it's super awesome to look at. Um, South Africa looks amazing. The ghettos are just like, what? Really? That looks awesome to see. Never want to visit. Uh, a couple, you know, cons of the movie are the guy who plays the creator of Chappie is really one note. Do not get a lot of, you know, development out of him. He just falls flat for me. Not not the greatest story for him. I wouldn't blame the actor. I just don't think he was given a lot of material to work with. Um, also, the band that's in it, uh, Ark Deadwood, uh, I mean, they're passable, but the just over-the-top white trash kind of routine they go, and I think that's what they do, you know, as part of their, you know, sketch or whatever. Um, it was okay at first, but it just got too ridiculous, especially toward the end, where his name Ninja, and he just goes all crazy, and you're just like, come on, dude, really? Um, story, just like Elysium, it was not quite what you wanted, it was not as good as District 9, it just flat. I really want to see this guy do something else. I know he's going to make an alien movie because this dude does technology like nobody's business. And if someone else can write his story for him, I guarantee you he's going to write it a lot better. Um, and the ending was just really so-so. Take it or leave it. Wasn't the worst thing that could happen. Wasn't the best thing that could happen. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, you know, I have kind of a scale of must go to theater, Redbox, Netflix, and a scene on TV. I definitely put this at the Redbox category. I would definitely go rent this and recommend somebody renting it from Redbox. But it's not a definite, you know, run out as soon as it gets to Redbox. So if you want to wait till Netflix, I would wait till Netflix. And that's it for the review. Uh, like, share, and comment in the comment section below. And tell me what you want me to review next. Thank you.